everyone it's your favorite fake vegan chick tuning in with the review i am going to be doing a review on dead beat eats dead beat eats i promise you that i will go live i'm actually going live on the woman in the middle of the page so if you guys want to watch this later go over to the woman in the middle of the page on facebook I will be sharing it on my Shamika Blackwell page and um, you'll get to see the full video of everything. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you what I have and giving a brief description of it. Okay, looks so good. Sorry y'all, I'm in the park. I'm going to flip this around and I'll be back and show you what I got. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. They gave me chips, but I can't have chips, so I'm gonna give them to my grandbabies. Representing the KC. Got me some Purple Life tea up in there. And these are the dogs, y'all. Y'all can see that. They're absolutely vegan gluten-free chips on there it looks like barbecue chips i think it's the guys chips that they put on there i'm only gonna eat a little bit of this one because like i said i'm watching my carbs and all that stuff and then they have a, a dairy-free vegan potato salad micro greens that's what those little <laughs> clover looking things are and then they have pickled red onions on a vegan hot dog. And I guess this is regular bread, I'm sure it is. And this one, this one's called the Pops or the Dad or something like that, it's a special. And then they have this one, it's called, um, I can't remember, but I'll put it in the description on Favorite Fake Vegan Chick. But it has their special cashew cream sauce and uh, it's loaded with jalapenos. If you don't like jalapenos, you can tell them to take it off. And um, microgreens and tortilla strips. Yes, yes, it does look good. So I'm gonna be eating a little bit with y'all and talking about my day. I'm doing good, brothers. I always have the men on here watching me, man. Y'all be watching me. I'm gonna start with this one first. Y'all see that? It look good, don't it? I think it does. I'm move that so I can see what I'm watching. So we gonna see. I can't eat both of these because I'll be well over my carb intake. Sharon, if you watching this, look away. <laughs> I've been doing good. I took my uh, all my supplements, so and I've been doing shakes all day, so I'm gonna have a little treat tonight. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Fire. Yep, it's good. Mm-hmm. Them jalapenos, they are not really strong. They're pickled for one. And it's just enough bite. It's not too strong. Yes, praise y'all. All praises to the Almighty. He is able. He knows exactly what we should be doing. Like, I pray all the time that he leads me in everything that I do and guide me. Go before me, clear my path. And another thing me and CJ talked about, too, because he's, he's heading up the Brothers in Blue up there where I'm on is, so. They just started this thing, this ministry for the women called LEAD, L-E-A-D. And let me tell y'all what that means while I'm up here. Ooh, it hit me in the back of my throat. Y'all, he had a cute little girl up there. Let me close this while I'm talking to y'all and eating. I probably only take a bite of each one, to be honest. I'm gonna be talking to y'all about this. I'm so excited. 
B-I-B means brothers in blue. And it's a... um. It's a program in there um, where they are uh, ministering to the men in there, helping them be um, advocates for the father. Lead is ladies empowered and driven. That's what it means. LED, ladies empowered and driven. The lead program is the sister program to BIB, which is Bro Brothers in Blue and operates in Topeka Correctional Facility, the only state prison for women in Kansas. So your girl will be traveling to Topeka, okay? So please keep me lifted in prayer. Pray traveling mercies and grace over me as I travel there to do my thing. He told me to go home and pray about it, but I already know this is what the Father wants me to do. So I'm going to lean towards that. And to be um, to go deeper, we were talking about women in the middle of it, and I told him why I wanted to do women in the middle of it. And it falls right along the lines of helping these women in the, in the ministry, you know, because a lot of these women, either they were kids who were um, brought up in a household where they saw a parent incarcerated or they went down the wrong path or they left children behind or in some instances are fixing to give birth to these children and you know when i first started woman in the middle of it, i said i want to focus on young women giving them life skills so they can be assets to our community versus just depending on welfare and being a burden on the community and the taxpayers you know everybody don't get me wrong everybody needs a hand up sometimes but if we can get to the core of the situation and prevent that that would be all the well worth it to um, put myself out. And it's just amazing. And it shows you, it's proof how the Most High leads you and, and guides you with the help of the Holy, of Holy Spirit, you know. This is the other one I'm about to take a bite. It has the vegan potato salad. Pickled onions. I want to put some of these towards the end because I want to taste it. I'm only going to bite this one once. Well, here it goes. That's a big bite. I didn't even bite the hot dog. I just bit the potato salad. Mmm. The pickled onions pairs well with the potato salad and the chips. That's good to be a vegan potato salad. You know how we are as black people. We don't eat everybody potato salad. And that's good. Mmm. I'm going to get in trouble for eating these chips, but it's sprinkles. It is good, girl. Y'all gonna have to come up here so I can show y'all a good time. They have so many different things up here to do and eat. And you guys will fall in love. Probably won't go, want to go back home. <laughs> Tell everybody I said, hey, Nisha, I love them. I need to take a drink. I'm turning the camera around while I drink. So I can see where I'm sitting. This is our downtown. We're not downtown. This is our buying district. I'm going to bring the kids to play. On the other side where that, that head, that statue head is, it's a club over there. I started to sit on that little patio, but I didn't want to get ran off. But you can see our little signs with the little jazz players and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's what I'm eating. This one's really good. I think I like that one better. Only because of the spice. But yeah, if you're in the Kansas City area, go check out my girl and my guy. I know it's a girl for sure that runs it where we always connect and remember each other when I come through and um dead beat is dead 
like a dead person dead beat eats go follow them on facebook they have great things they normally get out twice a week but um we're praying for them to get their own spot because they very deserving of it in the winter time i miss them because they um, do a lot of their stuff outside so they don't um do it year round because it'd be so cold here but yeah i saw i saw mayor lucas up in there eating on their page so that's good good publicity so but i see big great things anyway like i did tonight i gave her an encouraging word and let her know just keep doing what you're doing it takes time anything takes time just continue to be consistent as you can and keep it moving and that Y'all, I ain't supposed to be eating no bread. Not like that, but I really like this one. But this one has um, vegan potato salad and crushed barbecue chips with barbecue sauce, pickle red onions, and micro greens. That's what them little things are. Mm, mm, mm. These are my fire. Fire. Mm, mm, mm. I just been eating and chatting. Thank you guys for listening to me. Let's talk about anything. <laughs>